even if we weren't in a place where where governments were in the worst spot they've been, like fiscally in, you know, a hundred years or maybe ever on a global fiat standard, that Bitcoin would still be still be the the thing that you would want to own, right? Even if even if they weren't wildly fiscally irresponsible, there's no way that they could have the absolute enforced insured scarcity of Bitcoin. So it would still be appreciating, right? So yeah, I mean that's the bet, right? Is that we're still early to this despite being a trillion, a trillion and a half dollars. You know, I, I it was funny, this is an anecdote, but um the Daily Wire which is a big sort of like conservative publication and, and that video uh, media in the, in the U S they were live streaming some stuff at the conference. And there was, there was video, uh, there was like live chats in the daily wire uh, feed. And there was like multiple times over. Right. And these, these people are like follow politics and whatnot, and maybe are more or less savvy, um, depending. And there was a lot of like, what is Bitcoin? What, what the heck is Bitcoin? <clears throat> Um, so like, again, we're in our echo what? chamber, um, but, and it's probably, honestly, I mean, realistically, these people are like probably pretty old or, or whatnot, mm. but, but still like it's, you know, we, we hammer the point home and we talk to people so many times that are like deeply in the know and obsessed with this thing and their business or their individual life is revolves around it. But to the average person, it's still, you know, even not even to the average person, even the people in like wall street. Right. It's like still it's like, yeah, the speculative bet thing that's correlated to the Nasdaq. And, you know, it's just like, you know, we'll buy it when the Fed cuts or something. So the message is it's still early. There's still time for you to stack Bitcoin. Cheap Bitcoin will not be around forever, though. <laughs>